Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about colliders and the different types of colliders that you have in the game and I'm going to go over physics materials a little bit more. I touched on it a little bit last time but uh, I'm going to go into more detail now. So first off, what different colliders do we have and what do they do? Well, colliders are just used for collisions pretty much. If you want something to run into something else with a collider and maybe bounce off of it or knock it over if you want any kind of physics interaction you're going to need a collider. So if we click on our player here you can see that he has a box collider he, she, it, whatever has a box collider. Our terrain has a terrain collider so when our player drops down onto this terrain it's gonna bounce a little bit maybe just drop it doesn't fall through the terrain because there's two colliders there and he can just glide along. Well let's go ahead and look at the different colliders that we have so we can go to component physics and we've got the rigid body character controller then we've got all our different colliders box collider, sphere collider, capsule collider, mesh collider, wheel collider, terrain collider box collider we can actually I'm gonna change the position of it a little bit so this is our box collider just a regular box and you can manipulate the position and the size of it so we can make it a little bit longer on the x-axis something like that anyway let's go to the sphere collider so the sphere collider you can see is inside there we can change the X as well and if you change the radius it'll get bigger or smaller based off of that and you can also change the center of it and we can look at capsule colliders now this looks exactly the same as the sphere collider right off the bat because it's inside of this square so it actually is pretty much a sphere but we can change its orientation and if we go to radius here same thing as the sphere pretty much but if we go to the height you can see that it changes into this capsule like object and you can change the size of the capsule and this capsule collider is usually what's used for the player collider so if we go to our component you can see there's a wheel collider well a wheel collider is used for grounded vehicles and it has built-in collision detection wheel physics and slip based like tire friction model kind of stuff so this is purely made for cars so I'm not gonna really show you that because it doesn't really apply to what we're doing here but if you are interested in making like a car racing game I would look into wheel colliders more and I'll have a link in, down in the description that you can look at and it'll give you a better idea of what this is exactly then our, on our terrain collider we can just go to terrain look at the collider I mean it's pretty much just a collider that goes over the entire terrain that means nothing can go through it that has a collider itself I'm gonna talk a little bit about physics materials so in order to create a physics material we'll need to go to assets create physics material and this will give us these options in the inspector dynamic friction and static friction dynamic friction is when you're already moving the friction that is applied static friction is the friction of the object when it's not moving bounciness is pretty much self-explanatory how much it bounces and then we've got the friction combined and the bounce combined what this means is when two objects with colliders come into contact with each other what the friction does and what the bounce does and what direction they go but in general you can think of it as friction and bounciness and you can create a new physics material it's going to show up as this and then if you go to like say your player you can customize these things and then you can go to material new physics material there you go this is on the box collider I turned off but you get the idea for all the colliders they have this physics material and terrains also have a spot for physics material alright if you guys have any more questions then uh, leave them down below I'll get back to you and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you later